Like, I mean, like how bad could this possibly fucking be? Let's take a fucking shot. Okay, something smells like it's burning and I don't know if it's my pasta. Pasta's done, how do I know the pasta's done? Oh, it's really hot. Hi, welcome back to this week's video. My name is Eva Joelle and today I decided, you know what, I'm gonna cook. And I've tried to film this video like two or three separate times. The first time I decided, you know what, I need a cute fucking apron. So you know what I did? So I got a fucking apron. I don't even know at this point if I've said what I'm making in this video yet, but I'm making macaroni and cheese, okay? I am making macaroni and cheese for the very first time in my life. I've never made homemade macaroni and cheese. I grew up on like Kraft's macaroni and cheese and I never really liked it. So I haven't liked macaroni and cheese like ever until I became an adult and I had better quality macaroni and cheese. Now, if you're my family and you're watching this video and you're like, Eva, what about all those Thanksgiving where macaroni and cheese was your dish that you brought that you won the competition with? Well, I'm sorry to break it to you. Uh, that was Stouffer's with a little bit of extra razzle dazzle on top of it. Um, so I have been lying <laughs> since day one. Um, however, you know what? Today we're gonna figure the fuck out, okay? And then the second time I tried to film this video, I had went out to brunch. Uh, when I tell you the brunch place literally tried to black me out, babes, they was pouring heavy on them drinks. And so I ended up KO'd, okay? I was, I'm gonna take a shot at some point throughout this video. But yeah, that brunch place kicked my ass. And so then the third time I tried to film the video, I had decided, you know what? We're gonna be skinny. And we are going to go on like a three day um, like food fast. I didn't even make it through day one, babes. Okay, look, we're gonna retry that fast because it was supposed to be a video. Um, but however, it's going to be in chunks. So we're gonna do like one day first and then we're gonna, you know, double it up. So let's go. The only thing about me cooking is the fact that I am like allergic to everything. I'm not truly allergic. Um, that was a burp, by the way. I'm not truly allergic. However, I do try and like adhere to like some food restrictions, you know? So like gluten-free, I try not to eat meat unless somebody offers me to go to Korean barbecue, then I'm fucking going and I'm magically not a vegetarian anymore. I try to be dairy-free because I'm pretty lactose intolerant. However, you know what? I took away all the good shit. So this recipe is just gonna have to be like a healthy medium. And so I decided, you know what? If we're gonna try and go gluten-free, let's get like some gluten-free pasta from Trader Joe's. It's not elbow pasta like normal macaroni and cheese is, but it's close enough. Like it still has the little hole for sauce to get all in there, but it's brown rice panini pasta uh, because that's what Trader Joe's had for and like organic gluten-free. For the cheeses though, however, I got a variety, okay? I'm not even gonna lie to you. I opened this cream cheese because I had decided the other day that because I bought strawberries, I wanted strawberries and cream cheese and that it was gonna be delicious. And it was. I also bought um, a block of Trader Joe's extra sharp cheddar cheese. And then I bought the, I guess, main cheese, a cheese that I have never ever used in my entire fucking life. And it is Velveeta cheese, okay? I question what the fuck even is Velveeta cheese? Like, is this normal cheese or is this like pasteurized cheese? I think it's normal cheese because it was in the refrigerator section at Trader Joe's, not Trader Joe's, at Target. And so I think it's real cheese because like it wouldn't be refrigerated, right? If it wasn't real cheese, but it's like soft to the touch in the package. And I honestly have no idea how much I'm going to use of this, but we are going to ballpark and we are going to shoot our fucking shot. Um, and then we just have like all the other stuff, like the salt and the water and stuff. This video may not be a video that you want to follow, um, but if it is, then maybe I'll like throw the ingredients down below. But let's get to cooking. Okay, so I guess the first step to this is to get two different pans. Um, I have one really big uh, pan that I'm just gonna like boil the noodles in. Uh, and then I have a pan that I am going to make the sauce in. When I tell you I'm kind of going into this a little blindside, I'm kind of going into this a little fucking blindside. Do I have a strainer? No. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I am going to shred my fucking cheese first because yeah, that wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense for me to boil the pasta and then the pasta's just kind of like sitting there without the cheese. Fuck. Why is this so hard to open? Okay, so now that the cheese is grated, 
of course, I'm gonna have to pay the cheese tax to the smallest person in this household. Come here, Pokies. Sit. Oh, he got it. Good job, Pokies. Like, I mean, like, how bad could this possibly fucking be? What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to fill this bowl with water. And then I went on TikTok because, of course, um, that is my backup plan for this. Um, I'm going to take a chicken bouillon cube and I'm actually going to put that inside of the water with the um, macaroni as it's boiling to help give the macaroni like a little bit of flavor. Somebody on TikTok was literally like, there, somebody needs to do a study on the connection between a girl and her front corner uh, stove, stove top eye. And I'm like, 100%. Because when was the last time I used anything other than like this stove top right here? Th in this corner? I don't fucking know. Okay. I would like to say that I can't open this bag of pasta because I just spent two and a half hours in the gym. Okay. And then oh, afterwards I spent, oh no, no, they're catching on fire. Okay. I spent, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, I spent two and a half hours in the gym. I drank way too much pre-workout and I just had the energy of literally anything and everything. The fucking bowl, even though there's bouillon in it, I still feel like I need to probably salt the pasta, so. Okay. And then while that's happening, I guess I'm gonna make the cheese sauce. I thought about making a roux. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought about making a roux, but am I going to make a roux? No, and let me tell you why. Because I don't have normal flour. I only have gluten-free flour. And if you have ever used gluten-free flour, you know that it is either hit or fucking miss, okay? Gluten flour can either perform exactly how it's supposed to or not fucking at all. And so I'm not even gonna take the chance of doing that. But you know what I am gonna do that's kind of stupid? It's just stupid within this specific recipe is use a base of this as unsweetened almond milk. Okay, look, do I think it is counterproductive to use almond milk in a recipe that has a pound of fucking cheese in it? Yes, I'm fucking aware, okay? I'm aware. I'm aware of the oxymoron. Am I still gonna do it? Yes, because I don't have normal fucking milk in my house, okay? And I'm gonna bring that to a boil. But I guess while I wait for these to kind of like come to a temperature, let's take a fucking shot. In this household, uh, we take shots with probiotic drinks because what's the other option? Okay, something smells like it's burning and I don't know if it's my pasta. Oh, it definitely is my pasta. The problem that I'm having right now is I bought a brand new pack of shot glasses, okay? And the fact that I can't find a single fucking one of these shot glasses is concerning. It's sake, so you know you gotta- Helicopter hell! I'm gonna guess that that's about a shot. Still smells like something may be burning. Oh my God, no, my friends taught me this. Uh, the Spanish one where it's like, Sahana, da-da-na, da -na, da -na. Woo! And they drink? Yeah, no, okay, we're gonna move on. We like to drink with Eva, cause Eva is our mate. We like to drink with Eva, cause she gets it down and eight. Ah! Uh, see, this is why I love sake, because like sake doesn't burn. Um, however, I do think all alcohol tastes like ass. Because I think my milk is like warm enough to melt cheese now, um, I'm going to just start like slowly uh, mixing this in because that was the one thing that I heard when it came to like making macaroni and cheese is that you genuinely have to like add the cheese slowly and like continue mixing it because if you don't uh, the cheese could like sink to the bottom and burn um, or or there's something else that could happen I can't fucking remember it because this is really stressing me out so I'm only gonna use like half of the shredded cheese because I want to use it for layers later on oh this melted Beautifully. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on to something. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. She's cooking. Literally, she's cooking. This is where we open the Velveeta cheese now. Uh, pasta's done. How do I know the pasta's done? I promise you the pasta is done. It's just been sitting there for a little bit longer than I thought. I may or may not have pushed a little bit too far on this pot, okay? 
This pot is about to overflow. If I even add a shribble, a single shred of cheese to this pot, it is going to overflow. And so we are going to start layering the macaroni and cheese into the pot. Uh, what you saw during the time lapse was literally me just adding in the rest of the Velveeta, panic stirring it, adding in the cream cheese. Realized I fucked up because this pot is way too small. Um, I added in a scoop of sour cream and then I lightly seasoned it with salt, pepper, and onion powder. Um, do I think maybe I would have left the onion powder out this next time? Yes. Um, the only other thing that I also would recommend if you're gonna make macaroni and cheese like this is to maybe like cut the Velveeta because I really don't think that I needed the Velveeta. But like, I feel like if I would have just got a really large block of that like sharp cheddar with like a bag of Colby Jack cheese, it would have been great. Oh, the other thing that I'm gonna add to my layering cheese, the like leftover cheese that I have, is a half a pack of this light shredded three cheese blend. Um, if you don't get it from Trader Joe's, it's basically the Mexican style uh, cheese from any other normal grocery store. I'm gonna use that as well inside of uh, my layers to just create like the ooey gooey deliciousness, okay? Oh, okay. Did I make too much cheese? Maybe we're gonna just pasta, some more nudes in there. This isn't a perfect recipe, like I told you. Basically what I'm gonna do is just cover this with cream cheese, cover this not with cream cheese, with cheese, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven on 350 for, I don't know, however long until my heart desires and it looks done. I that right. Be fucking for real. Okay, so it's finally fucking done. It looks fucking amazing. Literally, I ended up having to put it on like another pan inside of the oven because it was kind of overflowing. However, what I do think is that I'm gonna make like some crispy potatoes to go inside of it and then I'm gonna come back and try the macaroni and cheese. Getting it out the pan seems to be harder than I fucking thought. Oh, wow, but still looks so fucking good. Oh, oh, it's really hot. It's really hot, but it's really fucking good. Probably gonna rate it a seven out of 10. C plus, it's passing for my first time making macaroni and cheese. I'm pretty fucking proud of myself. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more cooking videos and or life inspiration, inspirational videos, everything that I decide that I wanna post on this channel, Give the video a big thumbs up. Tell me where I could have went wrong, something else that I could have done better with this, any you know tips or tricks, and be nice, and or any food that you want to like see me cook. Subscribe, and I will see you guys next fucking video. Cheers!